You accidentally pressed play on a Mad Munchkin video. I'm Mad Munchkin, bringing you my own thoughts and opinions on the happenings from within the art and animation industry. And I also have a cold. Some of you may not know, but I am currently an art director for an independent video game company called Roadhog Games, and we are about to release our first video game called LGD, Little Green Dude. At Roadhog, we want to create video games that are homages to retro games and give them our own modern and unique twist through them, both from the gameplay, the design and the art of them. As someone who has been a fan of video games throughout my life, I always considered them to be great avenues for escapism. I can forget about the everyday norms and enter these new fantastic worlds. Some are beautiful, some are scary, and some are just plain weird. Video games have inspired my art in a lot of ways, and are a huge part of my life, especially right now. But never before have they been so interwoven with my artwork. Now I can't even separate the two, and I consider video games a great source of inspiration and influence. But my question today is this. Are video games art? Whenever a question like this is asked, I always get a headache, because of course anything can be considered art. All it takes is for someone to consider it art, and then it therefore becomes art. Let's take a look at the history of video games for a moment, and see when art became an integral part within the history of their development. The question here isn't really what is art, but rather what can become art. A lot of things, especially things like video games that are of course grounded in the developments within technology, is of course not considered art because of that very reason. What creativity is involved in making video games? Now, of course, that is a huge part of creating a video game, though video games have to appeal to the masses, where art may only have to appeal to one person. The first video games were developed in the 1950s, but the graphics that were used in their creation had been around for longer than that, used for radar, and to represent the communication and interaction between the user and the computer. Video games allowed people who did not understand how computers worked to interact with them. And that was a pretty exciting and new thing. Alien Garden was one of the first non-game software toys released in 1982 by Bernie de Coven and was programmed by virtual reality pioneer Jaron Lanier and it was designed with an emphasis on the need for experimentation. Art is of course about experimentation, and here we see art used for the first time within video games. Let me clarify, art does not just mean the visuals of a video game. Art can refer to the design and the workings of a game as well. Art within the game has to visually communicate with the player. There have been a number of games like these, too many to mention here, but the most recent game and most well known game of this type is probably Res, released in 2001. So art has been an integral part not only in the development process and the visuals, but also in how a player interacts with the video game as well. The visuals of a game have never been more important in video games than right now, and for me, games have never been more exciting to look at and play. Games even within their own franchises are opting for the realistic approach, causing the games to be more like a hypothetical situation than just games. Whether or not video games are art will always be argued, and I would love to see some of your opinions in the comments below. I'm Mad Munchkin, stay creative.